Hey guys, welcome in Core Java Interview Question and Answer. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about one of the very important generic Java interview question. And question is here: What are upper and lower bounds in generics? Where to choose one? Here, right? So let's try to understand uh, what is basically upper and lower bounds in generics. So here, uh, uh, first of all, we'll talk about the upper bounded wildcards right in java or upper bound uh, upper bounded wildcard restricts the unknown type to be uh, a specific type or subtype of that type right this is just a description let's try to understand through uh, an example so for example if you want to write a method that accepts list of number and its subtypes right like a list of double list of integer list of byte list of sort etc then we can use upper bounded wildcard here below is the simple signature of upper bounded wildcard so here you can see uh, you can define method signature something like this uh, you can write a process method and there you can pass a parameter something like this in, in the form of uh, upper bounded wildcard you can pass list and bracket you can give question mark extends uh, number so here uh, this method can accept a uh, list of number and its subtype means you can pass like list of double list of integer list of sort right so here double integer sort right uh, these are the basically a uh, subclass of number right so uh, this is the scenario where you can use your uh, upper bounded wildcards now let's uh, discuss about the lower bounded wildcards right so where we can use the lower bound in generic in java so lower bounded wildcard restricts the unknown type to be a specific type or super type of that type so this is just just a definition so there is a possibility you did not understand right what i am trying to say here so let's try to understand through an example so for example if you want to write a method uh, that puts uh, integer objects into a list to maximize flexibility uh, you may like the method to work on list of integer list of number but that shouldn't work on the uh, list of double or list of sort or list of uh, like uh, uh, care etc anything that can hold integer values the syntax in that case uh, uh, syntax of the method would be something like this right so here you can see method parameter how we have passed uh, right so here you can pass a list of uh, list something like this uh, and generics you can specify question mark super integer so in that case this method can accept list of integer and list of is super type right so as you know that number is a super type of uh, integer so this method can accept list of integer and list of numbers as well right so here is the case in that case if you want to maximize the flexibility right so here if, if you want to pass the list of integer and list of its super type that means you are just maximizing the flexibility so this method can accept list of integer and its super type right so it's maximizing the flexibility in that case you can have a lower bounded wildcard and if you want to specify lower bounded wildcard then you can have a huge uh, you can use super keyword question mark super integer and if you want to use a uh, upper bounded uh, wildcard then you may use uh, extends keyword right how I have shown you here so here you can see question mark extends number so this is the way to specify upper bounded wildcard means you are saying question mark extends numbers so either you can send a list of numbers or list of its subclass right so number is the maximum limit but when we talk about the lower bound so lower bound is the integer and its super class right so this method can accept either lower bound is list of integer else list of a list of uh, basically super class of integer right so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i hope you understood what i wanted to explain in this video tutorial so guys if you did not subscribe kk java tutorials till late then please do subscribe you have a lot of java stuff to learn on the kk java tutorials youtube and if you want to learn java in much more detail then you can refer our website kkjava tutorials.com thank you guys